So now we'll go ahead and get started. So welcome to the Chaos Common Metrics meeting for December 12th, 2019. We have a couple of things on the agenda today. I thought we'd do a, have a quick look at the open pull requests and new issues. Um, release plans, so we need to talk about that and discuss the contribution metric overlap with, uh, with DNI. So if we take that from the top, um, I realized there were a couple of pull requests from a while ago that I had not looked at. Um, Garrig, I merged yours for the uh, funding thing for awesome. the repo. Um, that one was obviously a, obviously a no-brainer, so that was easy. Um, and then the other one we have is the contributors metric, which is pull request number 36. Um, which is basically the, the metric that was uh, defined in the, I think it was the evolution group, and they decided it probably belonged more properly in common, um, which seems to make sense to me. Um, and it looks like it's already, it's already being used in Grimoire Lab and Augur. Mm -hmm. um, Uh, does anybody have any uh, any questions about this one? Has anybody read read over it in more detail? I think Georg, you said that you had sort of approved it, but we hadn't really merged it, right? You're muted. Here. Yes. Yes, I was there during the call when uh, we decided to move it. Okay, cool. So, um, so there's. Uh, so there's nothing else we need to do with this other than merge it. It doesn't require any changes or anything. Yeah. Um, I think we should add it to one of our focus areas. Right now we just add the file. Oh. And it needs, oh, okay. It needs references at the bottom as a header. Okay. I'm just going to, oops, this is the agenda. I'm going to make that the notes. Um, and edit the file. Okay, so should we so should we just go ahead and merge this now and then um, and then make the changes to it later? Sure. Okay. So I'm adding you... references now. One moment. Commit oh, this. okay. Now you can. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, wait a minute. Did I forget my? Okay, paper? there we go. It, it, it GitHub got a little confused because I didn't refresh properly. Um, okay, so we merged. This one needs to be added to focus areas and referenced uh, from, uh, it just needs to be added to the focus area, to a focus area. Um, so we have, let's, have a look at the focus areas. Let's just decide which one to add it to. I'd say the who. Yeah, who. Yep, obviously. Okay, I'll perfect. Okay, pull request. Okay, so. So, Georg, we'll add to the who focus area. Okay, is there anything else we need to do with that one? No, I think it's all set for the review period. Okay, and, and then we just need to add it to the uh, release spreadsheet. Yep, the actual GitHub URL. Yeah, because it's, it's not, uh, oh wait, sorry, wait a minute. Is that the, the contributor one? Open discussion for next release. This one, the row uh, 16? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, pull request is coming through. Cool. Well, that was fast. Um, let's see. Let's need to grab that. 
Somebody will grab that URL while I look at Georg's pull request and add it to the spreadsheet. Yeah, I have the pull request. Cool. Um, the URL. Yeah, the URL to the file. Okay. Uh, I also moved the um, the other one up because I like to have the ones that we have complete at the top. Yeah, agreed. Okay. Cool. Contributor there. Okay. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to take notes while, while I do this. Um, do you want to, everybody want to add themselves as the attendees? I'm just going to add it to, to this uh, in the notes. Um, okay. So we've got that. So let's, while we're talking about the spreadsheet, let's go ahead and have a look at that. Um, so we have, we have the, let's see, we released org diversity last time. We have contributors pretty much ready to go. Activity dates and times is ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then we have a number of in progress ones. Um, we'll get to the considering one. We'll do that last because that's on the agenda for today anyways. Um, does anybody have any, any thoughts on whether or not there are any of these others that we can finish in the time we have available? I'll be honest, I really don't have much time to work on it because I kind of disappear on holiday after tomorrow for the rest of the year. That's a good thing. Um, which is great for me. It's not going to help us advance the <laughs> common metrics for the release. Maybe, maybe we could just take a look at the types of contributions. And honestly, if if um, three new metrics are part of the next release, that's this is great. Okay. What about any of these others that are already in progress? Are any of those close enough that we think we could... Georg, do we do you know if we Release have the Google Doc for these? Any of them? I will have Let's to look at the issues. Track it down, yeah. Look okay. sure. um, mm. Yeah, you know what? We have not done a good job of uh, filing issues, I think, for some of these and making sure that we keep track of them. Like as the Google Doc. Yeah, because usually we file an issue where the link to the Google Doc is, and I don't think we have those for all of those. We do have them for the responsiveness metrics. We may not have them. I mean, we may have just put in progress because it was in progress in our brain. No, the responsiveness time to first response, we've actually got a, oh, okay. a pretty good. Um, if you go to the issue, you can see the links to the docs, issue number 13. Gotcha. Okay. I see. Time to first response is actually looking good. Uh, time to close is, n is not close enough. I don't think we could really necessarily get it there quickly. Okay. Because looking, looking at the time to first response, it looks like... Oh, sure. There's quite a bit. Most of it's done. I think we just need, if there are any... Oh, wait. Is this the wrong template? Yeah. It, that's easy it is. Too. Okay. Yeah. I think actually the bits that we need for the new template are probably already done. Yeah, actually converting to the new template off of the old one has been remarkably easy. Yeah. Um, does somebody want to take the uh, action to uh, to get this one in good enough shape that we can release it? Yeah, I mean, it's getting close right now. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to just do it right now? We could probably. Yeah, I mean, honestly, just let's, once Georg finishes this new template. Um, 
got the known implementations. We've got the visualizations. This time was created. So typically, maybe the only thing that we usually do, although we have some variation, the objectives sometimes do show up in a narrative form, kind of like the description. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they actually do show up in bullet form as well, as Georg pointed out. And we still have a comment in here about the, one of my ideas that does not belong in the final metric. <laughs> um, so, okay, so if we take a look at the description, the first response to an event, should we call it event in this case? Because we do have event meaning event in other cases. So through an activity, project activity. How, how do we define event? You mean like a like conference? A yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's replace it with activity. I think we, may, we changed it to event because um, what we didn't want to have was uh, issue or GitHub or... Right. Can we call it a contribution? It may not be universally a contribution, though. Well, comment on an issue is a, a comment that builds into a contribution. I guess where where do you draw the line? Is every comment a contribution? Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I would just call it an activity because we have contribution as a metric too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But then, um, when, but then you're going to get into, uh, I mean, you're not wrong philosophically, but you're going to get into having to measure responses to every comment. What if a comment doesn't warrant response? Um. Well, I think the way it's defined at the top is um, an activity requiring attention is created okay. and the first response. So that's like, that's like I filed a bug or I submitted a pull request. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um, anyone have any questions about the stuff that's in this document here? I'm just reading through the objectives right now. Okay. So the objective of this is to identify volume of code activity. I don't think that first objective has anything to do with time to first response. Yeah, particularly if we are thinking about this as a common metric. Because mm -hmm. it could be, right, the idea behind common is that you were looking at pull requests, or you're looking at issues, or you're looking at post to an email list, and time to first response would be then. Here's that. what I suspect. I think this is cut and paste from another metric, because this doesn't look like it belongs here at all. You know what I mean? This looks mm -hmm. like um, from something else entirely. That said, it could be adapted. I mean, what about saying identify the speed of coding activity um, or the cadence of coding activity? Because that certainly would be a part of it. How quickly are things getting done? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, so I think even at a, at, at, with common at that higher level, it's how quickly are things getting done with respect to pull requests or issues or commits or, mm -hmm whatever it might be. So I think maybe the way the objective can be written is that it's time to first respond to a wide variety of potential things. Mm -hmm. So I put identify the cadence of activity. In this case, we're only looking at first response. Yep. Um, I 
I don't think any of this makes any sense at all. No, I tried to fix it. Nope. <laughs> I, I don't think we can. I, I'm just going to delete it. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, we could add something that, you know, like, um, and we can fix the words here, but. Uh, whatever. Um, I mean, the objective here is to identify the first response, the things that may come across a variety of different channels. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. So yeah, something almost, like this. I almost wonder if making the community more welcoming is, is a second level objective. Because if this were, if this is going to be an atomic metric, yep. I think, speaking to Matt's point, I think that is probably just a simpler objective. We're identifying the level of activity, you know, in terms of speed or cadence or whatever we want to call it. Because making the community more welcoming is certainly a secondary goal. You could also use this measurement like for the diversity and inclusion set if you're trying to see if there's a problem in that area. But that's a second level goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which I think is, so I mean, are you suggesting keeping that second paragraph, Brian? I'm suggesting killing the second paragraph, unless I, I, I don't know if it, if it speaks to the the absolute simplest nature of the metric. I see what you're we're saying. Trying to code, you know, that making a community more welcoming is valid, but it feels like a use case more than, and maybe so move it to, you know, I yeah. don't know. Other than something that's inherent in the metric itself. Right, right, right. It, it It's a way it can be used, and it's certainly valid. I, I don't want to kill it as much as just move it. I'm going to create an issue on the diversity and inclusion working group uh, to have a use case for the time to first response metric. I would like to add something about contributors. I think that this is too specific and I think it's too focused on new contributors. Um, the reality is if you, if the time to first response is terrible in any community, like you just don't want to contribute. If you, it doesn't matter how long you've been there. Yep. Um, if I submit a pull request in Kubernetes and it just sits there for forever, every single time and nobody replies to it, um, then that becomes a problem. Um, so I feel like I feel like something. Well, could you just say this is for both new and longtime contributors? No, but I don't think it's necessarily making the community more welcoming. I. Um, oh no! I'm just insane. Like your sentence. Um, It also could be possibly a, a decent metric for consumers of the project. If I'm going to embark on using this new software, it would be nice to know if, you know, the last time somebody touched it was a couple of weeks ago or a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We get that. I'm getting that question all the time from partners in Red Hat now because they want to, like, know which which are the quote safe projects to work on um so can we just go ahead and delete that paragraph I'm just gonna say remove. <laughs> yep i just wanted to give you all a heads up that the text has been retained. okay cool
It's sad. It's been saved. I know. It was a good, yeah, it was a good <laughs> paragraph. Don't really have anything against it. And I added something about along with overall project health. Mm -hmm. Is that two words? No. As a typo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. Is there anything else that we want to talk about within this? Um, Hold on just a second. So one thing we didn't have before was filters. And I think I heard people say before they would be interested also in just knowing when did the maintainer respond. Mm -hmm. And so I added one filter here. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, I am curious about one thing. The visualization shows a grimoire lab, and it shows the Baturgia panel collections. And then below it says Baturgia analytics panel and tools providing the metrics. Is it grimoire lab or is it Baturgia analytics panel? It's the same link, right? Yeah. Oh, that that link needs to be updated. Um, it's now in Grimoire Lab. We moved it. Okay. We contributed to the open source project. <laughs> I'll I'll find it real quick. Okay. I'll just leave a comment to update it in the visualizations. And can we move? Uh, let's see, this, that's what you just um, put a comment on, Don? Yeah. That looks like a reference, if you click on the link. Yeah, Garrick said they needed to change, he needs to change the link. Okay. Because the current link is, I would almost read that as a reference. Yeah. Do we normally have references for the visualization? Uh, just in the reference section down below. Okay. Down here. You know, if somebody's taken the time to write something up. Yeah. Kind of describing the metric. No, no, I mean, I think that, I, I thought that was a link to the visualization. This link, if you follow that link, the one above it, the yeah. analytics panel, it takes me to just a, Kind of a write up. Oh, okay. About a um, timing overview. So my question was, do we typically have links to how you? No, we probably wouldn't. Would be links to the visualizations, so we can just delete this, right? We can. We could. What it does is point. It, it's the same link that I have for the visualization. So yeah, let's for brevity. I'll remove it. Okay. No, 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 no. I removed it from the visualization, so we just have the visualization. Oh, okay. We need to leave it in the tool. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. Um, anything else we need to do for this one? No, oh, it looks good. Um, does somebody want to take the action item to uh, create a pull request for? I can do that real quick. Okay. Okay. So time to first response. Okay. Somebody else is editing the thing. Oh. This is a when metric. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, that's gonna take a minute or two. We'll just get, leave that as an action item and we can do it later. Okay. 
Um, okay, so um, where? Sorry, I'm having a hard time with the new template. Um, is there is there a way to distinguish between the ones that we're planning on putting in the release but aren't yet done, like the time to first response? So time to first that? response would move to ready? It's ready when the pull request is made. Yeah. Kind of. OK. So in progress is advancing it for the next release. Pending is want to add it for the next release. Nothing. OK. Um, hmm. If you have suggestions on the template, <laughs> I do. I do. I mean, One, so there's there are metrics that are going to be in progress, but that aren't going to be ready for the next release that we're going to put in next next. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? I do. Yep. So what? I don't think we have a category for those. No, those are just kind of they're just in that perpetual yellow state. Okay. Or or blue. But I in progress says advancing it for the next release. Yeah, I think pending and in progress are not clearly defined enough. Okay, that could be. We need to define what is blue, what is yellow. So at the okay. top, we need to change that. Um, okay, so time to first response shouldn't be pending. That one should be in progress. I'm just going to add it in the notes. Um, lines and files. Where are you at? Oh, 19. Does anybody remember what that is? Number of lines, number of files. So it might be like um, if you're taking a look at a pull request. Have we started that? It says in progress. I don't know. I don't see it in the list. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that one. I, it's marked as in progress, which makes me think that somebody started something on it, but I can't find it. It might just be an artifact of when the table got changed, the formatting of the spreadsheet. OK. Uh, I am going to put it to red. considering. Yeah, which is red. Um, contributor country and contributor employer country. Same deal. I don't see those. We've talked about these. I think you worked on those, didn't you? I worked on the time one. So it was... Actually, let me just search the notes for, for lines and files. Okay. Uh, okay, metric, lines and files. Action item, Matt, to build a Google Doc to start this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that was back in Oct October 31st. So mm -hmm. this was based on the um, it might have been based on some of the grimoire lab schemas. But I say since we haven't started it um, I'm going to uh, yeah, I don't have anything. Okay, let's go back to not started, but based on Grimoire Lab Schema, maybe. Okay, so let's search the notes for a uh, country. Reference from issue number 18, 
And that was an action item for John M. Back on October 31st. New metrics being templated for geography. What row are you looking at? Geographic coverage. Sorry, I'm looking at the... Uh, 14, 15? Uh, no, I was searching the notes. I was back in the October of the notes. Okay. Um, the three geography metrics. Okay, here I found them. Oh, uh, here I'm going to drop them in the minutes. Okay, those are in the minutes. So there's contributor employer country and contributor country. Yep. And those are um, I would say those are probably not, not ready to do for the next release. No, and they're even in the old, yeah. I have okay. Super old template here, too. Okay. I'm going to add the link to this just so that we don't lose it again. Good. And then I'm going to mark those as red. Okay. Is that what I should do, or should I mark, mark them as pending? Maybe pending. Because we did do some work on them, they're just not going to be ready. Yep. Okay, I just made that a little more clear. Not ready for this release, and then I put the links. Okay. Uh. Okay, Time so we will have... Progress. I have a pull request ready for your review. Okay, but I'm gonna mark that in progress. Um, yeah, we need to better define those. Um, okay, so, and time to close. It says not ready for the next release, so I'm gonna move that back to pending, I guess. Okay. Port diversity is not version two. I just looked. Isn't it? Where did I look? Do we have multiple files? I don't know. I just followed the link in the spreadsheet. Uh, data, the reason why I think it's not uh, in the new template is because we have headings in there that are not part of the new template. Oh, okay. Here, let me bring uh, a pull request to change Just that. Just that up. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, types of contributions. Um, Georg, do you want to kick that off? One moment. Yeah. I am working on this tiny, tiny, tiny pull request. Um, okay, so create pull request. Now I demoted the headings to just bolded text, and they yep. still serve as headings, but um, it's the fastest way to get this in line with the new template. Okay. okay. I can go ahead and just, I'll just go ahead and merge that because that's a pretty small change. Um, okay. So which one you want to talk about types of contributions? Yes, we talked about moving it from uh, diversity and inclusion. 
Yes. But I'm not totally up to speed on it. I had it open here somewhere. I have too many tabs now. <laughs> OK, so if we go to this pull request um, to look at the metric, back almost a year ago, um, we wrote up um, types of contributions. And we have a description of what types of contributions it is. And the file that shows all that is here. Open in the chat. Didn't Garrett freeze? Oh, he did, yes. I was like, what is taking him so long? Where's, where's the, I'm, look, I'm looking over at the chat window for the link, and then I realized the Garrick hasn't moved at all. He'll come back. <laughs> I always think it's me. <laughs> oh, great. <sighs> Okay. He's officially gone now. He'll come back. I mean, looking at this, it looks like it's trying to identify just really what a contribution can be. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not, what I, what I don't know is where this metric stands um, as far as being defined. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Sorry, my internet uh, cut out. No worries. So we didn't get the link in, in the chat. Thanks. Thanks. So we had written this originally for the DNI working group. And so it still has a DNI angle to many aspects. But the feedback that Emma had provide on the pull request is that this is a lot of generic ways of how do we determine types of contributions. It's not focused enough on diversity and inclusion. But mm -hmm. we need this level of detail. And so the idea is to pull out what is just generic identifying types of contributions and putting that into the common working group. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So it basically just highlights all of the different types of contributions people can make. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And some ideas for how to get at them. So what I propose, if we want to use the next uh, couple minutes, is to re revise this metric. And I'll share a Google Doc where we can do that. Is that something you want to do? Um, yes. Uh, let's, because we only have 15 minutes left, let's do one thing while you get that sort of set up, which is um, just confirm when the next meeting is going to happen. Um, because it's currently scheduled for, I, I canceled the, I saw. the one on the 26th. Um, assuming that, yeah, I mean, that's, Boxing Day, day out of day after Christmas, assuming that people weren't going to be around. Um, so, what that means is that we we need to sort out uh, 
the release and who's going to be around to coordinate that because the release deadline's the 31st, right? It's the end of the year. Is that true, Matt? Yeah. So the, I mean, there's not a tremendous amount to coordinate from the working group perspective. Okay. So in the spreadsheet, just by having those GitHub links, okay, that pretty much takes care of everything okay. from a working group perspective. The only other bit to that is the release notes bit. Because um, we talked about release notes in the last uh, weekly meeting. I wasn't there, actually. You weren't. Yeah, you weren't there. Um, <laughs> I was like, why is it giving me that blank look? We I have talked no about idea what you're talking about. Minutes. <laughs> um, so we do need to, to put together uh, release notes. And we decided that the release notes would also be a part of the review period. Um, and we talked about how the release notes should be pretty high level. So kind of along the lines of, um, you know, these metrics were put into the new template and then a list of those metrics. Um, this metric had some kind of fundamental change. So if we decided to change the way that we calculated organizational diversity, that would be in the release notes. Okay. Um, and then I think probably like a list of new metrics that were added in this release. Okay. Um, maybe get Garrick, did I get all of that right? Because you were kind of driving the conversation in the in the meeting. Yep, it's what we have in the minutes. Okay. Yep. So, what's changed, and in the metric in the focus areas. So for the release notes, is it per working group or is it overall? Is it like one release notes? document for the project one release notes document for the project okay well, i don't think there's really anything specific that we're going to need to include that isn't going to be obvious from the spreadsheet would you agree with that georg based on what we talked about for the release notes i don't remember changing anything fundamental in um the metrics i do think we need to highlight that we have a new focus area organization mm. Okay. And well, obviously the new template, but focus yeah. area that we changed the structure is the main thing I think we need from common. Okay, so we need to define the new focus area structure in the release notes. Mm -hmm. Um. And then the rest of it should be should be pretty obvious, I think. Yeah, a lot of those things will just be universal for the project. New template, everybody. Yep, exactly. Um, okay. Uh, so who wants to uh, take a shot at defining the new focus area structure for the release notes? I mean, I can do it. It's about as complicated as it sounds, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not gonna be around. To, I'm just not gonna be around to do it. So I don't want to. I don't want to commit to something that I'm gonna have to do while I'm on vacation. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, so. Sorry, that was, I think that was the only other thing we needed to talk about. So the next meeting will indeed be on the 9th. Yes. Um, okay. All right, Garrick. I think that was the last thing I needed to talk about. If you want to go ahead and, and talk about the. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, so I added a issue for tracking our Google Doc. Perfect, thank you. And then inside that um, Google Doc, I already did a high level quick alignment between the, with the new template. So now it's a matter of going through 
and making sure it's we pull out all the DNI aspects to it. And these are this is the metric types of contributions, right? Row twenty in the tracking spreadsheet. All right. Okay. Twenty is types of funding. Yeah. Which I think makes more sense as a title. A lot about welcoming in that first paragraph. Yeah, I think we probably need to simplify this quite a bit. Um, so, so here's my question. I feel like maybe because this, uh, this does need a lot of changes. I'm not sure that we can do this very effectively as a group activity. Maybe we Unless, could try it asynchronously. That's what I was thinking. If somebody takes a shot, uh, like Garrick, if you can just take a take a shot at um, sort of simplifying it and then maybe sending it out or because I, I have time to review it tomorrow. And we could yeah. we could still get the pull request in tomorrow. Yeah, I can. If that works for people, pass pull out the DNI parts and then send the email to the list. Let you all know. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that would be perfect. And then I'll I'll carve out some time tomorrow to review it. Okay. Um, should probably right now it links to that diversity and inclusion pull request in the. Um, I'm going to link it to your issue instead. Well, you, said you, you said you filed an issue. Too. Sorry, I'm looking at the tracking spreadsheet. Um, which oh. linked to that really old pull request. Yes. Sorry. Um, no, no worries. So I'm just going to link it right here. There, I updated it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a massive, massive metric. So it would be great to get this included. Yeah, it would. Um, and I went ahead and merged time to first response, so that's done. Okay. Um, Get the link and put the link in there. Cool. And then I'll add the issue link to the notes. Oh, it's already there. Perfect. Okay. So org diversity with that pull request accepted. I'm going to mark this ready as well. And I'm going to put on my to-do list for tomorrow to review the metrics so that I don't forget to do it. Okay. Cool. Uh, anything else? We need to do. I think we're just about out of time.
This was great. Okay, we made lots of progress. So we'll, uh, we'll get this one last metric done for the release. Um, and then I think we'll be, I think we'll be in good shape. I think it looks like we'll have three, three new ones for the release. Or was Orc Diversity, was that in the last release? It was. It was just the update to V2. Yep. Okay. Um, here's what I think we should do for this spreadsheet. I think we need to add one more column, which is targeted release. Um, because like org diversity was already in the last release and the only update is the template. Okay. And then that would allow us to, to solve this pending in progress issue because we could just say that it's targeted for release. Some date. Yeah. Okay. That might make it easier. Okay. See what other people think. I don't want to add a whole column if other people aren't going to use it, but I think that would be helpful. Yep. No, there was a lot of shifting in this spreadsheet. Basically, all the tabs started going different directions. And so this at least brings all of the tabs together. And so yeah. that was a super big help. Oh, yeah. yeah the spreadsheet's fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's just when you, uh, whenever you use kind of a new template, that, that's when you figure out where the, yep. where the issues are. Okay. Good. I'll add that. Okay. We'll talk about it. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Oh, hey, Matt, you wanted to chat a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I wanted to chat with you real quick. Okay.